Hello and welcome to another edition of Vancax Let's Plays of John Bound. Where we left off, we have a ghost that is seen to be haunting the party, and we're exploring this this Saturn like the Saturn Valley like village of Snox. I don't even really quite get the reference myself, but let's roll with it. So first, we're going to eliminate this ghost, which this Dr. Revo, who's trained in human medicines knows how to exercise. I don't think human medicines really cover exorcisms, except that's more para paranormal medicine. Oh well, let's just go with it. Musical bread, what we found out of this dumpster. Somehow, the musical bread that Joe made in school somehow ended up into the Snock Village trash can. I don't know, I don't know the reasoning myself. Maybe somebody could figure it out. Okay, sounds similar. Blatko Heeltron and the Chemical Metatab and the Doctor's F Tonic. I guess those are herb items. And then we have the Nix the Nixib fries, I guess. Oh well. Wad of cash for eight dollars. Hmm. Wad of cash is just is war warranting a buy to see exactly what sort of effect they gave this item. So I guess, let's see. Not really a useful item, but... So basically you're throwing them four dollars at them, I guess. And they're charging us eight dollars to give us four dollars, which on that point, why can't we just throw the cash that we have in our inventory at them? And it's really useless trying to figure out explanations of all these things. Okay, baseball bat. Apparently, due to the fact that um, it's a multi-item, we know that multi-items suck in, in Earthbound, so those aren't going to be um, bought.
sad to see. Apparently, fingerless gloves is like a few too many wor letter words because if you notice, the S is still showing up at the bottom right there. Guess that's probably a le lesson to learn to future hacks is to remember don't include too many words. I guess that's how it works. Okay, what was I trying to do? Huh. Didn't he have more items than this? Show that had the. Okay, man. You'll be wondering why I do this. I'm not sure if it's true or if it's true or not. I'm just doing this just out of a tick. But um, I did a previous playthrough of this that did that got messed up in recording, and on it, John um, John got homesick. So I was just trying to preempt that. I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works in this game. We'll soon find find out. Another plot point is that we got that another character got mushroomized. Sarah, I think. How to return here? Well, since we pretty much. Let's see, can we. I think we can spare a few items. think about it. So I imagine, so my imagination was not uh, was not deceiving me. He does have too much stuff. It just somehow this fearless gloves thing. Well, I'm not sure if that's the case. I has somehow truncated these other items. playable. Also, another thing is that I'm not sure if it's true or not, but um, I remember in another YouTube video of a uh, John Bounds Let's Play towards the um, end, they mentioned something about um, reviving items not working. I'm not sure if it's true or not, or if this has been updated, but I'm not going to chance it. Thank <laughs> you. 
That certainly backfired on me. Oh, it didn't exactly backfire. Oh, Gary, it's you again. Stop trying to imitate the cameraman, even though you probably were the cat cameraman. Just in a pink dress. I don't know. Problem here is not the password. Let's try that again. Okay, they said for us to wait three minutes, and due to the things that that John is not voicing what I'm saying, I'm not saying anything. Perfectly not saying anything. Just wait three minutes. Wait three minutes. Three minutes, my butt. All right, finally we can enter. Somehow, ketchup drains health. A public service, service announcement. Don't eat ketchup, it drains health. I'm taking, I, won't, I don't think I'm taking chances with this battle. Yes, I did. Now, does this help my... Yep, it does. Back to at least somewhat sane um, presentation here. Item presentation. Back to the somewhat sane item list. I guess that's what you'd say. 
You know what? There's an easy way of doing this. health gain. Usually that's what happens when you eat stuff. Well, there's the health gain. Now, do we have any more items we can... Huh. Sounds gross, but yet... Sarah drank it and was able to go back to full HP, so I guess it does have some good to it. Another thing... Like I said, don't take chance on mushrooms. They can real, really ruin a run if you get mushroom buys. So great that you can throw up. It must be so great that he's bad. Okay, this remember this being so hard. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, you leave me with no other choice. Doesn't matter. Heard how we destroyed that tent? Let's just say the same thing's gonna happen to you now. Fights. Makes me wonder if this thing can do. If this thing is susceptible to ice. We'll see. Yep. Owen. Oh, is their name Buzz Buzz? Well, I guess somebody did a heel turn in this game. Except they forgot the one important fact. They forgot how to cast a Psy Shield. Not like it matters where we deal with these. Well, it could have hap could have mattered for the bad spam guy if it if they remember to always cast Psy Shield the first round. Oh, that's right. Let's see what this can array does. So yeah, that is a one use item. Speaking of which, what is a goop launcher? Okay, pretty effective. Um, Joe, we're supposed to fight something, not read a comic. Oh good, Frank Calden. Here we can heal up.
Oh, stats look okay. And oh yeah, I just realized something. I said it in, in the um, video that decided not to get made for whatever reason. That this that I said that tomorrow I will um exercise the ghost and explore the Saturn Village. Well, but, well, for saying that, guess I'll guess um the day after I release um the previous video before this one, I'll release this video. Shows what happens when you um don't watch your tongue. Oh well, I like doing that. I like doing something extra. Oh. Okay. Even when crying, we will still hit you. Actually, we are bringing spam to them. If we can't hit you by normal attacks, we'll we'll magic you back. Uh, probably now a good time to break out the level Bs. That was easy enough. And I know that I'm I've been using that line enough as well. A lot as well. And oh look what we have here. Porky in a green suit. Is that the file food man? Who's also um who's He's also a servant of Nemesis, the game's version of Gygus, but yet he has a lesser role. So, nausea is uh, for a medical care B. It's sometimes hard, hard to un understand which um, status effect goes with which medical care or healing.
Might as well auto fight this since he's just going to eat that spam. Funny thing is, the previous video that that the camp studio decided not to make, I only I decided to give him spam halfway through the battle. It was it pretty much mirrored what I did during the Dragon Dragon Quest 3 final battle. <laughs> except the guy used to, except the guy doesn't except he he doesn't use particularly damaging attacks compared to what I had to deal with in the battle. <laughs> in Dragon Quest 3, that is. Finally, he unleashes his limit break, which is no way in shape form can be used in the game itself. Well, smash, but we do smash attacks all the time, so what makes this smash attack so special? Well, anyway... He caused a mess and caused the guy... I think it led to some sort of dismemberment or something. I don't know. We'll see. Take a soak. Dun 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 dun. Now for your listening pleasure, me narrating this coffee trip. You've come quite a long way. Do you remember how your long and arduous journey began with someone pounding at your door? It was IRU, your weasel-faced neighbor who woke you up at 12 a.m. on that night of destiny. Was it IRU? I thought it was Baron Vaughn, what's his name? When you met the Being Tomato, you were given quite a surprise, but despite your responsibility, you have a good sense of humor. The struggle you face is not for you alone, thankfully. You have been joined in your adventure by a steadfast, valiant, and mystical fighter and friend. Uh, is with you as well. He overcame a large distance to join you in your battle. I, as you certainly know by now, you are not a regular young man. You have an awesome destiny to fulfill. The journey from this point will be long and will be more difficult than anything you have undergone to this point. Yet I know you will be alright. When good battles evil, which side do you believe wins? Do you have faith that good is triumphant? One thing you must never lose is courage. If you believe in the goal you are striving for, you will be courageous. There are many difficult times ahead, but you must keep your sense of humor, work through the tough situations, and enjoy yourself. When you have finished this cup of coffee, your adventure will begin again. Next you must pass through a vast desert. 
and proceed to the big city of Denver, Colorado. John, Sarah, Joe. I wish you luck. <laughs>